Hey everybody, it's Harry from Silver Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I know it's the holiday season now because behind me is my orange tree and my orange tree produces lots and lots of navel oranges every year. So a navel orange has this little thing at the bottom that looks like a navel and they're super sweet and super juicy and they're usually ready around the end of the year. So when it comes to year-end festivities, you need to up your game as a pitmaster. I'm going to show you today how to make a duck with an orange barbecue sauce, so come along for the ride. When you're cooking duck, you need a high heat temperature pit. So I'm gonna be using my PKTX here. We're gonna set it for indirect uh, cooking for about 350, 400 degrees. I'm gonna use my uh, Jealous Devil charcoal, which is uh, natural hardwood from Paraguay. And it's a, a, a Peregrine Axe Wood. Burns really hot, really fast, and really clean. Has great flavor. Light it up. Here's the duck. It's about uh, six, uh, six, almost seven pounds. And this is a whole duck from the Asian market. I prefer to buy a whole duck because uh, that way you can uh, use some of the other parts to make uh, like a gravy. And we're gonna take it apart. So you need to thaw it also completely. And since I'm going to be uh, cook, smoking it in a pit, uh, I'm not going to need a lot of the head and the other parts of the duck. This is a very simple recipe to show you how to do a uh, barbecue duck 101. I'm going to do another recipe to show you guys how to make a very traditional duck recipe called a uh, Peking duck. But for this one, we keep it simple, not to be intimidated when you guys get started on how to cook duck. It's not that hard. And uh, we'll show you guys an easy way. We can probably do this duck in about, uh, oh, maybe about uh, an hour or 90 minutes or so. We'll remove the legs here. They already pre-cut it for you. So pre-cut here. And I don't need the neck because we're going to roast it whole. We'll show you guys a little hack to uh, make sure that the skin stays crispy because uh, one of the challenges you have with duck is that the, the, the skin tends to kind of get soggy and uh, gets rubbery. So we'll show you guys a hack on how we get the skin to be completely crispy. And let me see if there's any uh, giblets in here. Basically, you want the cavity to be wide open. So you will heat up the duck through and you can cook a duck really quickly. Show me the excess skin in the back. Show me the butt, we don't need that. By the skin, by the insides. If there's any feathers like this, you have to pull it off. They're not good eating at all. We want to keep this barbecue duck really simple by just having some thyme and orange and just salt and uh, white pepper. Just keep it simple so we can prepare kind of an orange glaze to go on top, uh, sort of like an orange barbecue sauce. So the first thing you want to do is a duck Typically, it's extremely fatty. The hack I'm going to show you is, is to basically score the skin. This will allow the fat to drain. Conversely, you can also jacquard it, uh, but I find that the jacquard is not as effective as just making slits because when you slice the meat up later on, it's going to look really good. So we're going to do some some cross hashing like this. Use a sharp knife. So just gently, not too hard. Score the skin. So. So we've got a thick layer of fat, that's pretty common. Same with the legs here. And same with the back. This is where the best skin is. So if you have a peaking duck, this is the area on the backbone where there's less fat, that's where the skin is the most crispy. So we're going to make some cross hatches like so. Alright, now for the le orange, what, what I like to do is use the peel. So you can uh, use a, a zest, but zest is just too, too kind of small to deal with. So I prefer to use a peeler. Peel some of the orange peel. Get some of that nice uh, orange flavor to go inside the duck. So. So when the uh, duck is cooking, there'll be a fragrant aroma of thyme and orange. So this goes in together with the 
get some salt in there first. Maybe do anything else. Use white pepper instead of black pepper because I prefer it without the kind of specks of black on it. So that's what I do. Maybe a line in there. So. Good enough. Okay, let's get some salt on it. All right, let's make an orange barbecue sauce. It's pretty easy. Just add some sugar. Maybe I might have a cup here. A little bit of vinegar, acid. To make the sauce, um, I just use a uh, concentrate, it's a lot easier to kind of boil down. I have some more orange here, go with the uh, decor, and the duck is ready. Cooked about maybe, probably about maybe 70 minutes or so, at about 400 degrees. Add a little bit of uh, thyme, simmer a little bit, get a little bit of white pepper, the salt. Tablespoons of butter, plus one. Super easy sauce to make. And then the butter will emulsify and thicken the sauce a little bit. So we just need a little bit of a barbecue sauce glaze. Uh, so that it uh, stays true to tradition of barbecue sauce, we need just a touch of ketchup. Give it a nice color. All right, the duck is resting. So once it's ready, we'll slice it up. So you notice the skin looks like uh, the chicha ch ch and uh, all that technique is basically just to go ahead and score the skin and uh, you're gonna get an effect like a chicharrones this is very similar to how I make a la cachachina on the uh, pig and the last part will be scored and then we cook it at the high heat to blister it so it's pretty easy that way you can get all the fat out of the duck skin and uh, give you some crispy chicharrones we'll let it cool down and then we'll cover up the duck and serve it so super simple duck here so the duck is done and it looks absolutely gorgeous, just like chicharrones style. Now I'm using a Chinese chopper. Okay, just one piece of leg. Yeah, how beautiful that is. Beautiful. ready for the sauce. I mean, it's perfectly cooked. Look at that. Look at the juices coming out. It's fantastic. Skin is pretty crispy. Not as good as a picking duck, which I will show you in a separate video, but not too bad for a simple pit barbecued duck. A little bit of butter, vinegar, sugar, orange, frozen orange concentrate. This gives a tartness and a sweetness. And uh, this orange glaze is actually homage to, you know, one of the Icons of uh, cooking, Julia Child. I think she made history by making her first uh, duck l'orange in the 1960. Uh, the I was born. I'm I'm really old, so <laughs> like a dinosaur. I might say that you're a dinosaur. So spoon out the sauce. Look at the beautiful glaze of the orange barbecue sauce. Uh, Pitmaster style barbecue duck with a orange barbecue glaze. Not that hard to do, took me about 90 minutes, so you too can do this at home as a centerpiece dish. So let me go ahead and taste it. Wow, really moist breast. Has a nice uh, smokiness to it from the pit, and the uh, skin is crispy, but not as good as if it was a Peking duck, uh, which I will feature in my next recipe to you for this holiday season, we'll do a Peking duck. That's really complicated, so it takes about a few days, but for now, this is a simple dish you can make for yourself. So this concludes my beginner duck episode. Simple duck with just a orange glaze barbecue sauce. So please try this at home for the holidays. I'm going to be posting a more complicated uh, Peking duck recipe, showing you some of the six or five or six fundamentals for making Peking duck. 
uh, but that's a lot more complicated I'm not sure everybody's gonna do it but I'm gonna just show you anyway because I want you to enjoy this bird which is absolutely fabulous so uh, the duck is underrated but it's not that hard to cook on a pit especially with some good technique and some hacks that I showed you this concludes another episode from Slap Your Daddy uh, happy holidays to you all Thanks for stopping by and watching my channel. Uh, leave me a comment if you like. You know I respond to every single one of your comments regardless of whether it's related to barbecue or not. Please like, subscribe and share. Tell all your friends about my channel and you know how you learn how to master barbecue from my channel so you can spread barbecue love, right? So my heart to yours, love from Los Angeles. We'll see you in the next episode.